Hello everyone, welcome to video lecture series of communication engineering. Here the subject is communication engineering and the subject code is KEC401. This course is being included for the students of second year electronics and communication engineering and related branches. This is the introductory video lecture and here I am going to discuss about the course contents and course outcomes. So let me tell you that this course is designed for the students and all enthusiastic learners who are willing to learn communication engineering in a simple and easy manner. This video lecture series will give you deep understanding of the communication engineering concepts. We will discuss about principles of communication, digital communication, probability theory. After the completion of this video lecture series, you will be at intermediate level of expertise from where you can take yourself to higher level of expertise. So let us begin with the course contents and course outcomes. There are five units in this subject, unit 1 to unit 5, which comprises of analog communication, digital communication and some review of signals and system. So before starting, before discussing the contents, you must understand what is communication. You know that communication, this is a process of exchanging information. I am speaking something, you are listening something, this is also a communication. You are sending text to your friend, that is also a communication. So communication, it is a process of establishing connection or link between two points for information exchange. In a simpler manner, you can say process of conveying messages or information at a distance. Basically, it is a process of exchanging information. Here, the equipments must be used for the communication purposes and those equipments are known as a communication equipments. Right? So, we will discuss in detail. But here, what you are going to study in Unit 1? Unit 1 is initially some recap of the signals and system you must have studied in your previous semesters. But I will be telling you, I will be giving you a brief on signals and system, classification of signals, classification of system. Then we will discuss about the frequency domain representation of signals. And then we will start the communication engineering with the concept, with the principle of amplitude modulation. From here the communication begins and you have to understand it in a very systematic manner. After the completion of this unit, you will be able to illustrate various types of amplitude modulation. You will be able to explain it. In second unit, we will discuss about the angle modulation, representation of frequency modulated, phase modulated signal, spectral characteristics of the angle modulated signal. And after the completion of this unit, you will be able to explain the angle modulation. Third unit, this is about the review of probability and random process. We will begin with this. See, the importance of probability theory, the concept of probability in the analysis of communication system, it cannot be ignored. Means you have to understand and we have to discuss the things in more detail so that you will be able to calculate the uh, like signal strength and how the noise can be eliminated or omitted in a basic and essential feature. So, we will discuss all these things. In its continuation, we will discuss the various types of noise, their characteristics like Gaussian noise, white noise, noise in amplitude modulation system, noise in frequency modulation system. At the same time, we will discuss the pre-emphasis and de-emphasis threshold effects in case of angle modulation. So after the completion of this unit, you will be able to explain pre-emphasis, de-emphasis and noise in modulation systems. Unit number 4, this is for pulse modulation. Sampling process we will discuss. 
sampling process is a process via which a continuous time signal can be converted into a discrete time signal so what is the sampling theorem what is sampling process pulse amplitude pulse code modulation these are very important topics differential pcm delta modulation noise considerations in pcm time division multiplexing multiplexing is what if you combine suppose the signals are coming from various channels and if you combine all those into one that is the multiplexing so we are going to study in detail what do you mean by time multiplexing time division multiplexing digital multiplexers so after the completion of this unit you will be able to understand the concept of sampling and pulse code modulation last unit unit number 5 this is about the digital modulation techniques here you have to study various digital modulation uh, techniques or schemes you can say ask psk fsk means frequency shift keying which is fsk phase shift keying which is psk quadrature amplitude modulation minimum shift keying various shift keying techniques you have to study and these shift keying techniques are commonly used for the transmission of the digital data so these many things we are going to discuss over here and after the completion of this unit you will be able to illustrate various types of digital modulation schemes which is preferred which one is not preferred what are the advantages disadvantages so all the important factors we are going to discuss in this unit which are related to the digital modulation schemes so this is all about the course content and course outcome see this course this is the combination of theoretical topics some derivations and numerical as it is textbooks which you can refer and which i used to refer also these are some of the textbooks i have listed over here these are very good textbooks you can find the course content and the topics they have been explained and have been given in a very systematic in a very nice manner so you can refer these books also if you find any difficulty you can see the video as well thank you so much for watching this video keep watching the upcoming videos as well where you are going to find all the contents in a very systematic manner thank you so much once again